Senhor. This is not that yet. Including the Nigerian one. Look, the Nigerian district commander should be sacked as we speak. If they came to my brother, this thing is neither here nor there. There's only one thing on the table: government failure. Yeah. What are we talking about? Who runs the EPA? Everybody reports to one person in this country, and this matter is of so much existential importance. Now you can't be telling me this story about EIA before what, what my friend, my friend, people are wasting everybody's time. If you want to solve this problem, you will solve it. If I can drive in front of any name and see what is happening there, and police can see what is happening there, and we have a system where the governance system has created an environment where people can opt not to care, then what are we paying taxes for? Okay. You see, you can't come and tell me that somebody has to come and report to you. Before, if you, policemen, are sitting there and somebody is stealing your, 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 your car, do they have to come and report to you that you are stealing your car before you go and save your car? You are there to protect the people. So when, you come, when we also hear these conversations going on in Parliament, I have to be honest with you, I mean, the, I, it, it, it does not inspire me. As much as I appreciate the fact that they have to take technical conversations, where we are right now, we are at a national crisis level. It's not a matter of processing that's making this happen. Even if you grant people licenses, and you have an EIA done, and the EIA comes to show you that maybe the things are not done optimally, what have you done about it? Even if it says, okay, this is how you should do it, how do you make sure it is even being done? I have invested in projects that have to do EIA. You have to have a recurring review. You have to have a recurring monitoring system. <laughs> There's an M&E part of this whole thing. Yeah. So it is neither here or there, whether somebody has done it before or has done it after. Where are you now? Today, today, where you are standing today, where are you? And Koye, and if it's not going well, what are you doing about it? Our state is failing, and government has failed. Let's admit it and fix it. Don't give too many unnecessary excuses. With the power of the president, a lot of these things will just go off. That is why we're asking for the state of emergency. If you haven't got clarity in mind, just stop press. Call a pause to this whole thing. Take your time and review it, and let's save our country. Let's not start pointing no. fingers to one institution or the other. No institution is the problem. No, 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 no. I was wait, called wait. to. I'm not holding you. you, you are, no, I'm not this much. I understand. I understand. I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. It is for the government of the day to seize all institutions of state to fix this problem if they are willing. Obviously, we can all see one thing the government of the day is not willing. And it's not an MPP or NDC matter. Because the government includes both parties as well, and all of us as a people. If police people can be part of it, military members go in and they are part of it, we are destroying the state. I'm telling you so you just get to know. There are senior officials of the military who are really worried about even going, getting the people back into the, into, into, into the Galamse area. Yes, and as we, it's a graduated conversation. We'll get there on, on, that, on this particular point. Yes. You and, see, and, and, and the most important matter is that responsibility has to be taken, essentially. And that's why when the EPA appeared before, and I made reference to how the conversation ended. Yeah. Because everybody else came to explain why they are not doing one thing or the other. Whilst the problem continues. I Meanwhile, they have one boss. <laughs> so yes. we cannot continue to explain away our responsibility ah. when the existential threat that we are faced with continues to get worse on a daily basis. Can we? Yes. Uh, um, Albert, I couldn't agree with you more that we cannot continue to uh, expect people to explain why they have all done illegal acts. We cannot wait. And I agree with my brother also who says that this is not MPP and this matter. And I think that the people of Ghana, we are confronted with uh, a possible calamity and all of us must rise to the occasion. Uh, the reasons why uh, Ghanaians don't benefit from leadership is politicization of national issues. The moment something takes a political color, a partisan political color, then the other party would want to uh, oppose, albeit sometimes unreasonably. And therefore, the call for a national um, uh, contribution is in, in order. And I believe that once we confront the problem as Ghanaians, we'll be able to solve it. Indeed, in my own backyard, as my 
my mm. friend was trying to uh, ridicule me as uh, the girl I'm seeing. Uh, no, I know he was joking. Uh, in my own backyard, mm -hmm. I have a system of uh, mobilizing the youth, the people, the chiefs, political leadership, and indeed the assembly, all assembly members. In fact, it had never happened until about four weeks ago. So, and so you mean Galamsey had never happened in your constituency? No. The people who attempted, ago. the people who attempted, and I can point to a okay, building, we have a, a we building have, that We've got videos of what you're talking about. Yes. That happened four weeks ago. Yes. That illegal and mine. I'm going to also discuss how I have solved the problem. Uh, no, there were people you, who let's came first to, see the video. They were, this no, is the okay, this good. is the Galamsey. And I, we, I send we, the no, videos we'll, to you. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. This is the excavator. Yes. In your constituency, Asante Achimbo. Yes. Prior to this moment, you had always said that there's no Galamsey yes. happening in your constituency. So, the, 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 these are the Galamsey. The, these are the Galamsey sites yes. in your constituency. Yes. You confirm that this is your constituency. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, uh, these people. Were, these are my uh, boys, uh, uh, whom I uh, sent to go and police. Tax force. That no, this is not tax force. This is my boy. Together. Yeah, by you. Your 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 personal tax force. Personal, personal mm -hmm. tax force. To, to <laughs> deal with this illegal. <laughs> you can't say FBI because the state is not funding his so, that would raise it. So, so it's personal. Uh, so the, actually, they had the the, the Galamse have been going on for I mean, understand about a, three a, few, weeks. a few about three weeks, yes. almost a month <laughs> before they were. Mm -hmm. This thing Scott yeah. or Indeed, it was one farmer who called me and told me. And the day he called me, I sent my boys uh, to go there, and they reported with these uh, uh, videos. So I immediately called the attention of the uh, police commander that you should mobilize some policemen and go with these people because my boys were afraid. Mm -hmm. So the police supported them to go there, and some of them ran away into the bush. We arrested some of them. I, I have pictures of uh, boys we have arrested right. in handcuffs. And uh, I instructed that they should be put be, uh, before the court for uh, the court to take decisions. Uh, mm -hmm. So going forward, you see the, the thing they put there mm -hmm. uh, as the shelter for them. And uh, I can tell you now that uh, the place is quiet now. Mm -hmm. We are going about finding ways to reclaim the land and also search out those uh, those people I see. Uh, who caused it. So, um, so you, you, so you mean that the, you, you dealt with this matter? There's no Galamsey. There is there. nobody there. If they go there, at this site, this site, now, now there's nobody there. Uh, but okay. they have suggested that we give them the opportunity to reclaim. I refuse because I don't know what they will do if we send them back. So I've instructed that the police commander, mm -hmm. with the NADMO director to form a team and bring people who would go and reclaim and we search out those people before we release the hey, equipment. Collect the money now. Because by the time oh, you I won't handle money. Huh. I want the people... You just finish accusing them of money, matter. <laughs> <laughs> I see. But, you see, but you see, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want the reclamation first before. at their cost. I see. <laughs> at their cost. Right. And before... And then I, I'm proposing that even there, we should go through some uh, prosecution. So I was let's see what will happen. So the, the illegal miners, you so you, you, you caught them. Yeah, destroying no, no, we caught the them. Area. I send you videos. Have, have any, yeah, that, that, that's not what you're saying. And I send you so, videos of people in chase. No, we, we'll check that. We don't have we'll that. Get, we'll check that. Uh -huh. But have any of these illegal miners been prosecuted? Those, those that your people caught? Oh. It is only last week or so when I said it to you, and they are they are reporting to the police. I have to, I instructed that they should be prosecuted, and that the prosecution will happen in my constituency. I see. So those were the people who were caught on the Galamse side. Yes. Are you making effort to identify who owns the excavator? To be honest with you, and who, it is who, difficult who to them? find because I suspect that these boys are not the people who are owners of the equipment. And but we have them, so we'll prosecute them. Let's see if, in the course of prosecution, we will see anybody show up to come uh, and own up, mm -hmm. and then we will see uh, how we deal with them as well. Because they are the right corporates, the These financiers. People, yes. And you, so, so what's the what's the difficulty in, for instance, identify who owns that excavator or who sends nobody, those boys nobody, to come and, I, to I, and destroy I, I, that I, land? I, for, to be honest with you, I haven't seen any numbers on the thing to indicate who has registered what. 
Uh, so that's the difficulty, but that's part of the job of the police. When they have known this, it's normally you see, the top. that is part of the job of the police. Uh, in fact, I'm not competent to be able to identify who is uh, who now. Or, but but if, if we are going to prosecute, I'm sure that uh, this will come through uh, the investigation and then we will be able to deal with it. But uh, for me, what is important is that we reclaim the land at, at their cost and let the law take its course. Uh, I may not. In fact, the way I was provoked, if I was there, I may, I may have misbehaved. Because seeing what I saw, mm. and if I was at the scene, I don't know uh, my instinct, how my instinct would have pushed me into doing, doing something wrong. Because I think that people like that must be punished, and they should suffer fiscal punishment. You have yeah. come face to face with this existential threat in your constituency. So, this matter we are talking about, and that's why I bring in um, Zoltz and Gavin. Because there was a lot of expectation, and that's the next phase of this conversation, for, for organized labor to do something um, drastic, to say the least. But before we get there, I want you to take a look at but, but, the... But, the no, no. but Abed, let me tell what, what, you something. What do you want to say? I have received calls from uh, some of the people who are reporting of what has happened, and people are also telling me of the engagements People are telling me what they have done before they got there. And some people have been mentioned, I've told the police to investigate, all of them. And indeed, if anybody is found to have uh, supported this activity, uh, the appropriate sanctions pushed to them, including the call by Otunfo that chiefs involved in the RMC ought to be disturbed. We'll push for that one also. Uh, if I find a confirmed uh, indication that any chief in my area was part of the thing, I will also engage O24 to deal with those, uh, such miscreants. I see. Well, a good friend of mine, Adam Serum, had this video of uh, what was happening in the, on the Offin River. This was uh, some few months ago. These were drone shots, actually. So these people were busily galamsi operators using chamfan on this offering the river. Hmm? It's not, uh, they didn't even know doubt. that we're being captured. That's what you see there. Is this is a chamfan. Yes. Mm. To stop it. With chemicals, mercury, all in there. So, yes. Let's they, take a look. Do, I think we are past that. Point. This thing. So this is not one that you can continue keep Keep giving a lot of speeches and verbal commitments to this situation that we're faced with. And these are the people there. And for the Pra River, this has been one of the major references to the, this renewed talk about illegal mining. Some pupil teachers there in one of the communities that depend on the Pra River, had this to say. And Mr. Gamay, I'll bring you in after this one. They'll fetch the water and put it in these tanks for us. So this is it. So when they fetch the water and put it in this tank for us, we just put alum in it. So this is the color. After we put in the alum in it, this is the color of the water. Please, it's serious. This is the color of the water. After putting the alum in it. So this is what we are using to bath, to be honest. Now, after putting the alum in it, and you think that they'll say, oh, when you put alum in it, the water will get settled. It will not get, this is the exact color. After two days for allowing it to cool down. Yeah. Very pathetic, all jokes aside. See, if you are sitting somewhere and, and they are talking of the galamsi and you think it's not affecting you, you are just, you are just kidding. You are just kidding. See, we are all drinking from this, from cooking to washing to bathing. If you bath, you brush your teeth. So this is what they, they are filtering for you to do. See, let's all wake up one morning and say we are saying no to this galamsi. We are not joking. It's serious. The first day I saw this, I, I thought it was a joke. This is the water. This is it. That is the water. And the alarm that she's talking about is also another form of a chemical. Mm -hmm. If you use it too much as well, too much of everything is bad, isn't it? And they're having to buy more to, to be able to verify. Now, when we had the organized labor declare this strike on, to take place on October 10, they had indicated 
that they were having engagement with government a number of demands that they were making the first being the declaration of a state of emergency that has not been done and then also the setting up of courts they say they've been giving assurances that that will be done and uh, the repeal of li2462 we've seen a letter from the attorney general um, to the effect that there's a process in place to have it repealed when parliament reconvenes um, on, on tuesday that's another matter we we'll would get into but the tuc decided to not go on this strike because they had been convinced that government has met majority of their demands. This is Joshua Ansa, Secretary General of the TUC. Let's take a look. The President has not said anything. We had a discussion. We said by the 10th of October, if nothing has been done, there will be a nationwide strike. The President discussed the issues with us, our demands with us, and what he is able to do is what is told us and is written vividly on this uh, paper. That is all. We've sent a series of uh, notice to your outfit to the extent that we've had a committee with you headed by uh, Ken, uh, Honorable Kendapa and uh, it will wonder you to know that uh, since, ever since we met them, we've not had any concrete decision. So we are saying that the government must come out to say something and I believe when such a thing is done, it's going to help all of us. Mm. The redeployment of the military and other law enforcement agencies to flush out illegal miners from water bodies and forest reserves. The military is now supporting the forest guards of the Forestry Commission to protect the forest reserves from this destruction by illegal miners and loggers. Government working with the judiciary has already established 14 dedicated courts, seven high courts and seven circuit courts to handle illegal mining cases. Collaboration with the organized labor and other stakeholders to fight illegal mining, government has asked organized labor to nominate representatives to be part of the stakeholders committee to fight illegal mining in the country. Organized labor has therefore decided to suspend the internal strike action. We are calling all workers to report for work on 10th of October 2024 and beyond. Organized labor will keenly monitor the implementation of these measures which government has made and government will hear from us if it fails to do the needful. So that's the reason why they decided not to go on strike. Okay. Then we got to know that this meeting was supposed to have organized labor deliberate on whether or not to go on strike. Apparently, the leadership worked in, according to Professor Ramsford Jampo, who is the president of the University of Ghana, Utah. They walked in with prepared speech that they had already decided that they were going to call off the strike. We spoke to him after this, that meeting on Wednesday. Let's listen to him. I'm in touch with my national president. We are holding our own meeting um, this evening. And then I'm telling you that we are not going to go by this charade. We are not going to go by this show of incompetence and gross disrespect to other unions for constituting organized labor. Clearly, they came with an agenda. Look, there are so many things that are being said about the leadership of organized labor. And the kinds of things that happened here, okay, first as those bogus charges and allegations. I mean, otherwise, if you want to meet with organized labor, why do you come with a prepared speech? In the meeting, we were not. I mean, I made my first point, others, a few people spoke, and if you are speaking, then the chairman gets up and says he doesn't want you to talk. Well, that's Professor Jampo. He's the president of the University of Ghana, Utah, University Teachers Association of Ghana. Joining us is Dr. Jerry Joe Harrison, is the General Secretary of the University of Ghana, UTAC. He serves with Professor Jampo. Joe Harrison, good morning, welcome. Thank you. So that position as spouse is consistent with what University of Ghana, UTAC. In fact, UTAC and National, you've declared a strike. Yes. That's why the TUC taking a decision. Absolutely. Because you felt betrayed. Uh, I mean, not only betrayed, but um, also disrespected. I think that 
uh, the decision was not in the interest of the people of Ghana, and so we have taken a contrary view of, of, of what um, organized labor um, did. I see.